Welcome to Battery Tech Tips presented by Optima Batteries. My name is Cam Douglas, Director of Product Development. Today we'd like to talk about how to properly store your batteries. One of the most common failure of batteries that are stored over long periods of non-use is that they start to discharge on their own or if they're hooked up into a vehicle and then they start to sulfate. So our challenge here is to try to keep the batteries as fully charged as we can during long periods of storage. So there's really two ways to properly store a battery. Um, if it's for shorter periods like seasonal use, you can put a fully charged battery away for a season and then expect it to operate properly when you're ready to use it. However, you want to make sure it's, again, fully charged, disconnected from anything that might have any kind of a draw on it. So that means not just your key off on your car, that means the cables are disconnected. Then when you come back and the season's ready to go and, and, and you're ready to use your car or boat again, you got to fully charge the battery. Okay? It probably didn't discharge enough not to start your vehicle, but don't use your alternator to start the or to recharge that battery. Use a good battery charger and fully charge the battery before you use it again. Second technique, and the one that I like the best, is to use a battery maintainer. So that means when you pull your battery or your vehicle in for storage, all you have to do is get access to the battery and hook up these little leads to the maintainer. Here's an example of one right here. So this will, these little um, eye terminals, the little ring terminals, will actually hook up to your uh, battery, your OE battery terminals. You can actually stretch out this cable and have it poking out underneath your, your fender or uh, bumper, um, something where you might not even have to open up the hood. So we've got a car behind us that we want to show you how to properly store the battery that's in it, whether you're disconnecting the cables or hooking up a battery maintainer. We have a 2006 Corvette here that is pretty stock in its electrical accessories. So um, it, it doesn't have an unusually high draw from an aftermarket alarm or big stereo system or anything additional electronics on here that would have an unusually high key off load. However, if it's being put away for like six months, this battery may or may not still be able to start the vehicle after that time because of the factory key off loads that it has. So we always recommend, again, one of two things. Either disconnect the battery, make sure it's fully charged before it's put in storage, or use a battery maintainer. So pretty easy to put your vehicle away, make sure the battery's fully charged. What we do is just Loosen up the negative battery terminal, disconnect it, then check the voltage with a voltmeter. Make sure it's up to full state of charge, and then you can put it away and safely store it. It'll still lose some charge over that, time, over that period of time, but having it disconnected, if it's a good, healthy, fully charged battery, should be just fine. So if you follow these storage tips, you'll maximize your battery performance and have a lot more pleasure with your vehicle because it'll be ready to start when you're ready to go. Thank you for watching.